Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. Let's go over the different modules inside of Lightroom 4. Now, basically, what Adobe has done with Lightroom is basically taken the entire photographic workflow and, for the sake of uh, usability and management purposes, they divided each portion of the workflow into different modules. So let's talk about each module, what they do and what they're designed for, starting with the library module. Now for those of you that have used Adobe Bridge, you can kind of think of the library module as Adobe Bridge. It's a place where we can manage and organize our images. And also this is where you're going to be importing your images and bringing them into Lightroom in the first place. So from here we're going to be culling, rating our images, kind of sorting them, creating different keywords, modifying metadata, uh, going and dropping them into different folders and collections, and just doing overall image management and organization. Now, moving on, we have the develop module. And you guys can either click the module or the shortcut for each module is basically Alt, Control, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Or on a Mac, it's going to be Option, Command, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the 1 just correlates to Library, 2 is Develop, 3 is Map, 4 is Book, and so on. Okay, so we're going to hit Alt, Control, 2 to take us to the develop module. And this is where you're going to be spending the majority of your time. The develop module is where we're going to actually be processing our images. So on the right side, we have all the tools to process our images. And on the left side panel, we have different tools to help us manage our processing workflow, such as presets, which, which allow us basically to apply, kind of develop processing settings quickly to groups of images. All right, now moving on from the develop module, I'm going to hit Alt, Control, and 3 to take me to the map module. This is a new module inside of Lightroom 4, which allows us to basically not only view images by geotagging, but also to geotag images. So it's really cool because you can view kind of where you're shooting from. You can sort by location and do a lot of cool things when it comes to geotagging images. It can also take a lot of time if you don't have geotagging built into your camera already. So let's go on. We have another new module. I'm going to hit Alt Control 4. This is the book module, which I'm really excited about because the book module basically makes it super simple to create albums and books directly from your Lightroom catalog. And guess what? It's extremely powerful. We have tons of different layout options. We can print directly to Blurb, which is who Adobe has partnered with, or we can also export it to a PDF file where we can print with uh, you know, any other printer that you want to use. So the book module is awesome. It's going to be a great tool. I'm going to hit Alt Control 5. Both the map and the book modules are the two new ones. Everything else is what we've seen already in Lightroom 3. So let's go on to the slideshow module by hitting Alt Control 5 or just clicking on it. And in the slideshow module, it's really simple. We're going to create slideshows basically with the images that we have in our catalog. Uh, moving on from there, we have the print module where we can basically create different types of print sheets like contact sheets and stuff like that with our images. And finally, we have the web module where we can create different types of flash galleries for online use with these images. And it'll basically create the code for you. So all you got to do is drag and drop it in. Now, the slideshow print and web module are pretty useful, but really the majority of our time is going to be spent in the library, develop, and book modules. And for those of you that are into geotagging, in the map module. We will talk about slideshow print and web later on the DVD, but we're going to talk about it fairly briefly because they are pretty dang intuitive and easy to understand. Alright guys, so those are the modules inside of Lightroom. Let's go on to the next tutorial.